YouTubers, shooters, reloaders, Flyer 556 coming to you today. It's another cold February day, 2016 here in central New Jersey. Another good day to do a YouTube video, so that's what we're going to do today. Today's video is going to be on the TNW ASR 9mm carbine. Um, that's TNW, three letters, that's the manufacturer, and the model is the ASR. That does not stand for assault rifle, that stands for Aero Survival Rifle. Okay, um, TNW ASR, that's the Aero Survival Rifle. This rifle is chambered in 9mm. Um, before I go any further, I'm going to show you guys something. This is the box that the rifle comes in. It's a small box. I'll show you why. The only thing I want to show you right now about the box is the fact that the box does say 9mm on it. Okay, you see that? Okay. That's because I purchased this gun chambered in 9mm, but if you look at the receiver, this is why I want to show you this. It's kind of important. It actually says Cal Multi. See that there? It says Cal Multi. It doesn't say 9mm. However, this is chambered in 9mm. The reason for that is this rifle can easily be converted from 9mm to 40 or 45. Okay? They sell packages, TNW sells packages, where you buy a kit that contains a barrel, a bolt, and a magazine. And by switching those three pieces, that's why they call it a multi caliber carbine, which is pretty cool. As you can see, the chamber is open. I can put my finger through from one side to the other because it can also be converted to left hand or right hand right hand shooting compatibility simply by changing the extractor and the inject ejector from one side to the other or vice versa. It comes from the factory setup for a right handed shooter with the extractor on the right and the ejector on the left and um, it will eject your cases to the right for a right handed shooter but that can easily be switched around for a left-handed shooter and it'll eject them out to the left. Okay, so with that said, it's a pretty versatile gun. Now the next big selling point on this gun is the fact that you can unscrew this barrel nut here. Okay, take the barrel out and that's it, your barrel's out, it's that simple. And you're left with a package that's this small. Okay, this is a 16 inch barrel, exactly, from the chamber to the tip of the barrel, which is the shortest you can possibly have for civilian use without a tax stamp and uh, that's exactly what it is 16 inches it's very simple to put back in you just line that notch up with the top of the receiver there's a pin that it drops into screw the nut down and that's it you're back in business just tighten this nut back down okay and that's it you're back in business that's what it looks like okay um, let's see, what else can we talk about? The gun uses Glock mags. As you can see here, the mag is empty. Nothing in the chamber, as you can see, it's clear. Okay. See right in the barrel there, the mag is empty. Um, yes, it uses Glock mags. Now, the mag re magazine release is not ambi. Okay, as you can see, this is the mag that the gun came with. This is a Gen 3 Glock mag, because you can see it only has the notch on one side, doesn't have it on this side. So as far as the magazine release, it is set up primarily only for a right hand shooter, because it's on the left side, and it is up here in the front. It's not back here by the grip. It's located here, but this is kind of like, like a handle where you can hold the gun by the mag or by the mag well, and then you can easily drop the mag with this button like so. Okay. That's the way it's designed to be used. And then you just put your mag in, and then there is a, a lock for the bolt to lock the bolt open. It's in the up position, it's rear now. You just drop it down and it closes and you're ready to go. Okay? If you want to lock it open, just pull it back, lift it up, and then you can see straight through the gun. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about? I'm basically just going to review this and tell you guys the goods, the bads, what I found, what I like, what I don't like. A little bit about the price, and um, just to give you an idea, if you're interested in buying one of these, what you can expect to get out of it. Um, I bought this in, I, I want to say, August last year, 
So I've had it about five or six months now. I shot it five or six times. Um, I've used multiple different types of ammo. I've used factory uh, military 9mm 115 grain. I've used factory American Eagle 124 grain. I've used my cast bullets that I load in 124 grain in conventional and tumble lube. I found a tumble lube function better than the conventional, which I'm converting back to anyhow. I'm going to shoot them exclusively and get away from the conventional because I got issues with them with a couple other guns that I got. But I'm just giving you, you know, ideas of what I found with this gun. It runs the tumble lube bullets pretty much flawlessly. Um, that's, that's about all I got to say about the ammo. Everything else ran pretty well in it. Um, with the Glock mags, it, it functions pretty good. No complaints about that. Now, the way you see the gun here is not really the way the gun actually comes, okay? So let me explain a little bit about that. Um, it comes with this small rail, not attached. It comes with this in the box, and it doesn't come with this. It doesn't come with the strap, but it does come with the rail. So you can bolt this on in three different places. You can put it here. You can put it on the bottom like I have it, or you can put it on this side. It's your preference for a flashlight or whatever you want to put on it, wherever, however you want to mount it. Okay, I put it on the bottom. I put this small Black Hawk sling attachment on the front because the weapon doesn't come with a front sling mount for a two-point sling, which I prefer. Um, it only comes with the rear sling mount, which is movable. You can, you can take it out and you can put it here, you can put it here, you can put it on this side on either position you prefer. Um, I like the two-point sling setup though, so I put the rail on the bottom and put this attachment on the front of this, and uh, that's how I got my two-point sling. So that's something that I did. Now, as far as the sights, um, does not come with iron sights, okay? The way the gun comes when you're going to buy it, it comes with this scope right here. It's a small scope. It's not very powerful. Um, I would say it's it's probably like a 3x9x40, but that's a guess. I really don't know what it is. Um, I didn't do much research on it because I wasn't happy with it. It does have mill dots, which is pretty cool. And I thought it would be really cool to have that because the 9mm does have a, a pretty heavy trajectory. So I thought the mill dots would be very helpful, which they would be if this was a better scope. I really, really was not happy with the accuracy I got out of the scope at all. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain a little bit about that. But anyhow, when you see the gun in the store, it's going to look more like this. Okay? That's how it's going to look. It's going to have that scope on it, and that's the way it's going to look. And it does have mill dots. It looks really cool when you look at it in the store. But honestly, this scope, I think, is a piece of garbage. I was not happy with it at all. And every time I shot this gun was with this scope, with all the different ammo. The last time I had the gun out, I was so aggravated with the scope and the accuracy. The first thing I did when I came home, before I even took the gun apart to clean it, was take the scope off. Now the reason for that is, I don't want to get off the subject of this gun, but as you all know, I, I purchased a high point carbine, 9mm, in July, right before I bought this gun, a month before I bought this, because I was looking at this gun all summer in Pennsylvania. As you all know, I live in New Jersey, and they did not have a Jersey compliant one in the store where I shop in PA, where I shoot. The one they had there had a collapsible stock, which this, this doesn't move. It does have the holes, but this is a Jersey compliant model. And this is not adjustable because I live in Jersey. It does not have a threaded barrel. As you can see, there's no cap. And um, I think that's the only two things that were different. But anyhow, they wouldn't sell me the gun because it wasn't Jersey compliant. Okay? So, the way I stumbled onto this gun, anyhow, I ended up, since I couldn't get this in PA the whole summer that I was trying to buy it, I ended up buying the High Point Carbine, and I wasn't happy with the sights on that e either. Um... They, they were terrible. The accuracy, I wasn't happy with it. And a friend of mine told me that he knows a couple people that had them guns. And they took their sights off and they put one of these True Glow red dots on it. And he said it just completely brought both of them to life. So I said, you know, 
why not? I'm going to try this myself. And I did. I put it on the high point, and it took it from paper plate size groups at 25 yards to quarter size groups at 25 yards. And that's no exaggeration. I have pictures to prove it. I don't have them here readily available, but I do have them. And um, you guys pretty much know I tell it the way it is. And if something's a piece of junk, I'll tell you. Just like I'm telling you, that scope to me is a piece of junk. But anyhow, that was with the high point. So I kind of did the same thing with this weapon. I came to the conclusion I was not happy at all in any way with that scope. So the final time, like the fifth time I had the gun out, I brought it home and I decided that's it. That thing is coming off. It's going. And I ordered one of these, the exact same one. It's a four rectile. True Glow, um, used to be able to pick these up in Walmart for $35, $40. That's not the case anymore. They're like 70 bucks now because people realize that they really do work. They are pretty good and um, they, they really hit it big in the market. So now you can expect to pay around $70 for this. But I'm expecting this right here to shrink that accuracy down. It should be the same as the high point because the high point, as you all know, is an inexpensive... Um, I'm not going to say piece of junk, it really is a pretty quality gun, it's just ugly. But other than that, it is relatively decent quality and it does shoot really good with one of these. So, I think this is going to resolve my accuracy issues. And, um, that's enough about the sights. So, no iron sights, the scope, I was not happy with. I mean, you guys can use your own judgment, you might like it. I wasn't impressed with it at all, and I'm expecting this to work wonders with that. As um, far as the trigger on this gun, wasn't very happy with that, but the more it's getting broken in, it's getting better, and I've let a few people shoot it. My brother shot it. My friend Russ that I shoot with every week, he shot it. Um, his brother-in-law shot it. They all say it's not so bad. They, they don't really mind the trigger. To me, I wasn't crazy about it, but I will say the more I shoot it, the better it's starting to feel to me. Okay? Um, as I said before, it uses Glock mags. It comes stock with one Glock 19 mag. It's a 15 round magazine, which is Jersey compliant. The law on that is um, for any, any detachable magazine in New Jersey in a semi-automatic weapon cannot contain more than 15 rounds. It's not 10, it's 15. Currently, we're in February 2016 and it is 15 rounds on a detachable magazine and a semi-automatic weapon. Okay? That's what it comes with. Now, if you don't live in New Jersey, if you live in one of the free states, you can use any mag you want, any 9mm mag you want in this. You could use a 17 mag, which is this right here. Okay? A little bit difference in size. Mine is a 10 round because I'm in, I live in New Jersey, as you all know. Um, this is a Gen 4 mag. You can see it's got the notch on both sides because um, this is a newer mag. Um, you can use the 33 round mag, which I don't own one because I live in New Jersey again. Um, you can't. The reason this isn't 15 is because the Glock 17 only offers two mags. It's a 17 round, which I'm not allowed to have, or a 10 round, which I am allowed to have. Um, and, and this, is, this is your options for the Glock 17. That's why I have these mags. You can use these in this, but you might as well just use the Glock 19s because then you get 15 rounds. Okay, I bought a couple of those. Here's another one. Glock. From uh, Midway. Very reasonable. 20, 25 bucks, something like that. You can get these all day long at Midway. Not a problem. And uh, all the Glock mags, 9mm mags, will work in this gun. Um, as I said before, it is multi-caliber. That's why it says Cal Multi on it. This gun can chamber 9, 40, and 45 if you buy the additional kits with the barrels, the bolts, and the mags. Okay. Um, I paid $749 for the gun, and I actually bought this thing on complete accident. I went in the store here in New Jersey to pick up a, a different gun, not this gun. I went in there to buy a gun. I'm going to do a video on that gun at a later date. Um, but anyhow, when I when I was filling out the 4473, I happened to see this hanging on the wall, and I asked the salesman, I said, you know, isn't that the TNWASR? And, and the guy was like, yeah. I said, that's Jersey compliant. He said, yes, it is. 
I said, um, and it was funny too because the gun that I went in to buy was a $200 gun. And I ended up walking out with this for $749 plus the $200 gun that I went in there to buy. So um, anyhow, with him saying that, that it was Jersey compliant because it didn't have the collapsible stock. It didn't have the threaded barrel. It was a 15 round mag. Um, it was compliant, and I, I simply said, you know, can you can you add that to the 4473 so I don't have to pay an additional next charge? He said, absolutely. I said, well, add it on, sir. I'll take it. And that's how that's how this whole thing happened. But anyhow, um, aside from the scope, I'm really pretty happy with it. And uh, you guys saw what a small package it can become. That's what it's designed to do. So you can take the barrel off. You can collapse the stock if you don't live in Jersey and Basically, you got a 16 inch long package that you could drop in a backpack and take anywhere you want to go. That's the whole purpose of why they call it the Arrow Survival Rifle because it's very concealable. Um, and, and really, I guess that's about all I got to say on the weapon. Um, it is a little pricey for what it is, $749. It's not cheap. But it, I, I will say it is pretty well made. Um, the machining on it, I'm pretty happy with it. The barrel, um, the stock, the buffer tube, which is mil spec. This is a mil spec size nut, not commercial. Pretty cool. The grip, same as your standard AR grip, you know, same thing. Um, otherwise, that's really about all I got to say, I guess, on it. it it's, a, it's a fair price for what you get. I, I would say is the best way I could explain it. I think they could have done a little better on a scope. I think they should give you one of these rather than that, but um, that's the way it comes, like it or not. Just letting you know. If you do buy one of these, you're probably going to be scrapping the scope and changing over to one of these, I would, I would expect. Uh, I, I expect to be very happy with this also, by the way, because the high point, like I said, it took it from paper plate size groups at 25 yards to quarter size groups at 25 yards and I'm not exaggerating and uh, that's what I'm expecting this to do I'm pretty sure it will because it definitely did it with the high point um, really I think that's about all I got to say about the weapon again it uses Glock mags Gen 3 or Gen 4 any of the 9 millimeter mags will drop right in this thing and run and um, that's about it hope you guys liked the video Please remember, hit the like to subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. For That's about it for this one. Catch you guys later on the next one. Flyer 556, I'm out.